Thanks, Skippy. Where are my manners? Introductions. <laughs> Call me Deadpool. It rhymes with no school. Too cool, ain't no fool, and I'm the best that there is at what I do. Cool. Moving on. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm making this one video of the previous video that I made regarding about the Iron Man that I found at Bars and Nobles in Fairfield, California. <clears throat> Uh, the reason why I'm doing this video, I'm going to start making videos of all my previous pickups and everything so I can show you instead of pictures and everything because like, I also want to explain my experience of how I felt that day when purchasing my items and everything. Um, so today's, um, uh, according through my Facebook, I purchased this item in May, May 15th. Um, actually, it was purchased May 14th, but I, uh, I took it, uh, took the picture the next day. Uh, normally, I was intend to unbox it or anything like that, but normally, I decided I wanted to show review and show you guys how it looks and everything. And normally, what I already unboxed, took the picture, and posted on Facebook, and it's the same. It's gonna be the same name, brand, and company from the previous uh, Iron Man figure. And it is my Deadpool. It's named by the same company. It is made by Koto Bukiai. Craftsman Koto Bukiai. It's an art ethic statue, one tenth scale pre painted mold kit. And it's a, kind of a good thing that they have it in pieces because like, you know, the box is so small and everything. And normally if they tend to put in a bigger box, I believe it will tend to be a much bigger price. <clears throat> so normally, it's a good idea they do it like that. So normally all the pieces won't break and everything's all packaged like how you see from my previous Iron Man one. Um, they made this sculpture design of the Deadpool image right there, if you can see. If it's not Nerma, I will take a Photoshop, I'm going to take a picture, and I will post it right here for you guys to see. Um, normally, I already had it unboxed and put together and everything, but I will do another unboxing and show you guys how it looks. Also, person. Okay, so. Go ahead and I'll open this again so I can show you what's in it. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Taking it out of the package. <laughs> uh, normally, that's a piece I will explain to you a little bit later. Just give me one sec. Ah, got it. And. This is how it, how it comes out. It comes with a scan in the back and what you know, an extra accessory. Oh. Okay. Um, for this, I will show you this. This is a metal stand and a sign. And normally what it dropped earlier when I was unpackaging, it is a marker. And normally, you can write a little message on here when you have your, your figure in this place. And for the ones that already saw the picture before, you saw the message I left. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, let me put that to the side. And let's get this, the Merc with the mouth unboxed. I don't have to cut it open because it was already pre cut. Everything, but I will do it again to show you guys. Okay. Let's start off with the legs. In the previous Iron Man, normally I had to put the legs together, but normally they had the legs like this and everything. Very awesomely detailed and everything. Hey, nice ass! Wait, that's our ass. We'll need I like how they did his belt, accessories, a gun. Uh, sexy can't take this little guy out. No. 
This is a robbery. Give me your chibi chongas. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get the torso. Luckily, that was a good thing that the torso and the head is together. Let's take a look at that. See? Very good. Expira expiration on this look and everything. Why would anybody want to see that? I sure as hell don't. Why didn't they think I wear a goddamn mask? And looks like the head is a little bit movable, I believe. Uh, no, it's not. I won't mess with that. Let's go ahead and put the, this guy to get these two pieces together. Okay, we're almost halfway. Got the torso and with the legs and everything. Okay. Next, I will get this one arm. And I believe this will be his right arm. And normally look how his finger gesture are there. <laughs> if they can have that thumb out, I'll be like, Calabunga dude. <laughs> everything. Very good. Very good sculpting and everything. Uh, before I put this on him, I have to take the back piece. And it's normally where his his swords are being held. This will go on his back. As so, if you can see that. Look at that. Okay, before I put that, I have to get this other piece. It's a part of his, it's part of his swords and everything. This will normally will go in the back along with this arm. And if you can see from here, that's how it is. Sorry, that's how it is. Oops. If not, if I put this here, then I have to line up the sword with that. Then I have to push the sword in a little bit. And it looks like he's ready to pull out his other sword. That's cool. You're falling off. Are you drunk? Maybe you have too many chingachangas, man. Lay off the beer, too. <laughs> we'll need to find our arm to twist the head back on. Um, this also... I'm sorry. This also comes with his other arm. His left arm. If you notice, his hands is missing. There's not only his left arm and the and it comes with two additional hand pieces. You got the Calabunga sign, and you got the other other hand. This normally you can hold a weapon. For this one, normally he has the sign. If anyone saw from my picture that I posted, and normally the other one is for his katana sword. Um, I already show him pulling the sign, so I'm just going to do the hand with the sword. So, we go ahead and put his hand together. And I'm going to take his katana sword out. Yo! Forget that these shiny sticks are swords and hop right on! Clean your nose. <laughs> Go ahead and stick that sword in all the way. Oops, oops, I almost popped this sword out. Oops, he's got his torso. 
so I'll pull it out. Sorry, I have a TV on over there. And there we have it. Try, sorry, try to hold it. And Deadpool complete. Um, I am not going to take the stand down and everything because it has a little plastic cover and everything. And normally I'm just trying to make this video real quick. So yeah, that's my Deadpool I bought from Barnes & Noble in El Cerrito back in May 14th. And I'm just here just going to show you how he looks. Pull back. And like I said from the Iron Man video, he has magic taps on there, so normally when it sets on the stand, it sets in place. Well, that is my Deadpool uh, figurine unboxing and review and everything. I love how they did. It's so boring. What is that here? What does that expression come from? It doesn't make any sense. Make it stop! Damn it, Wade! And everything looks like a very awesome figurine to display and everything. Uh, once I do preview pretty soon, I want to get a glass display like how most of other collectors are and everything. They want to show their figurines and everything, and that's what I want to do and all that. So once I do, I will get one of those, and I will show a video and everything. So that is my review. Uh, next time, uh, next review I will be doing is normally my, my Dragon Ball figurines that I received from... Seriously, roll credits. We're done here. Woo! Holy shit. That was awesome! Deadpool! Hey! You did it, buddy. Look, I know we've had our differences, but look, I'll admit it. The game rocks. You rock, pal. I hate to admit this, but we're actually not that much over budget. <laughs> I didn't want to tell you that before, but now that the game's over, and, you know. Hey, Peter. Uh, yeah. Get your checkbook ready. No, you're, you're going over budget, damn it. You gotta stop. That you can be, that is what they told me. Made me all I can be. How they try to mold me. Mix a little bit of the best of the rest. Fight off Weapon X. Well, we'll see who's next. Oh, Can't expect a miracle. Bet not a devil. I'm your best friend if you keep my money level. Never without a gun. I don't hardly flesh it out. Survivable plans are plans I ever think about. That's right, Biatch. Keep those guns clean. Yeah, clean as a whistle. Oh, In the crib. Crib? It means domicile. I don't know what that means. Crib. Yeah, crib. Like where we live. Who's hungry? What the fuck just happened? Who wrote this song?